Drake University Law Library. Once an untamed war zone filled with murder, gangs, prostitution, drugs, and more, this library is now a haven for those who quest for knowledge, thanks to one man, Larry Lovell, the librarian. This is his story. You know, this place used to have some serious problems, but you gotta be willing to do what it takes. That's what I do here every day. Just expect the unexpected. Anything can happen here. Tour here, this is the tax room. This is where we keep all of our tax related information. Uh, let me just flip on the lights here. Yeah. What, what the hell is going on in here? Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Hey, put your pants back on. Nobody needs to see that. Seriously, people. The librarian school will fought to take the oath of celibacy. Now I have to clean up. Oh, I hate fluids. You know, you see a lot of shite in this place. People come in here and do whatever they want. But I'm not gonna stand for it. I have a degree in library science. Library science! Excuse me, can you tell me the, where the US reports are? So, can you help me? People could be getting raped right now. What? You heard me, back off. I've always liked helping people. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be a librarian. I'm not in it for the glamour or the fame. Every day I get to help people. That's the reward. Hey, want some books? Oh, no. Some books? Come on. Oh, thanks. Book horror. I've been tracking him for seven years. I got some good books here. You want to buy some books? Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Oklahoma, Ohio. Stop! You're coming with me! Book horrors. They're the reason I requested a firearm. So it's damn liberal hippies in the ALA. The ALA? The American Library Association. They make it sound like it's all about noise violations and people eating food. But it's a war zone out here. They don't see the things that I see, and I'm on the front lines. Every day, every goddamn day I'm on the front lines. Yeah, I need to return these books. I think they're a little bit overdue. They're not a little bit overdue, they're overdue! This man has overdue books and he thinks it's alright. Thinks he can just come and go as it pleases, taking books from left and right, and depriving the poor souls who want to read, to learn! Zero tolerance. That's the rule. You give them an inch, and somebody dies! No, I love you more, Pookie. Oh, no, I love you more. I, I, we're in a library! What part of that don't you understand? If you do it again, I'll break every goddamn bone in your body. What do you mean, what was I like when I was a kid? I, I, I was just like any other kid. I don't, I don't really see why it's relevant. Well, we just want to know the man behind the librarian. I was, uh, I was just like any other kid. Tragic. It happens all the time. The page is still warm. Stop! Have I heard any complaints? None that I know of. Why? made a difference? I don't know. It's, it's not about that. It's about doing the job the best that I can. Have I done that? Absolutely. I can't believe you did that! This is a library! Have some self-respect for God's sakes! Money! I'm going to tell you, if I've told you once, I've told you before. 
never run in the library. You know, now you're going to learn what happens when you do it twice. Larry Lovell, a man who truly now. believes in his work.